I guess they get it. Just watered it up in a bottle. Every now and then there's a crawfish or two that come up down through the creek down there. There's Norman doing his thing. Milo. <clears throat> He's hunting bugs to chase in the water. This dude's picking himself like a crackhead. Norman, what are you doing, buddy? Just like a crackhead, I swear. He's uh, seven months old. And uh, through some estranged folks, came a passerby. Basically, they was crackheads. So anyways, some crackhead motherfucker had him in a bucket water just a five gallon bucket of water and he was like one day old two days old something like that and they brought him to me wrapped up in a towel and he was almost fucking dead but uh we took him and put him in a shoe box with a one of them warmers, one of them uh, heating pads. Filled that sheet box full of straw. He fluffed right up, man. He spent about the first three, four weeks. I held him every day and talked to him. and You know, like a little best friend for a little while. Helped get him up on his feet and eating and drinking and acting hell at least like a chicken but yeah he's uh he's mother dog he's there's milo he's our main dog he's i think seven eight he's a male he got about a 12 year lifespan that dude there's got a 30 year lifespan so I don't know. I thought it was a good save. He, she, whatever it is. Norman seems to be happy. He's got a turkey and some chickens and a dog and a pig. Hey, Milo. What are you doing, buddy? But, yeah. That's uh, about it, I reckon. <laughs> Yay, Norman. Yay! <laughs> Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on. Come on over here and do that shit. You got more water. <clears throat> anyway, usually clap our hands and tell him yay when he gets excited. He acts like a little submarine. He'll 
dive under the water and just go down through there like that back and forth and he'd just bounce off from like that log to the wall all over the just he has a blast though my chickens don't do that but he does he's a pretty cool little animal yeah he's a pretty cool little animal He can fly like a son of a bitch. He just don't fly nowhere. He usually just flies about 20, 30 feet, about 10, 15 foot off the ground. That's it. But yeah. That's our cobra chicken. He's really a dog. What he is. He's, he's smarter than the turkey. He's smarter than the chickens. He probably knows. He probably knows about. I don't know. Well, he, he recognizes body language and just about anything you say to him like I got key phrases uh, get out of that if you say that they'll uh, everybody knows that somebody's in trouble even the chickens are smart enough to know that somebody's somewhere they're not supposed to be damn I about fell off that log so but anyways yeah, he's he's pretty fucking smart. Like I'd say, his intelligence level is right underneath that dog there. It's right underneath that dog. That's a smart motherfucker right there. He don't shit in the yard. He chases off coyotes. He does his thing. He's a smart dog. That's a hell of a dog right there. Thirty years. Hmm. Sure, this fucker might outlive me. <laughs> I thought about getting him banned. Get it? He needs to get a little band on his on his leg in case somebody does shoot him if he flies off. Goes find a mate. I don't know. But all right then. I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.